It's time to see what I eat for breakfast every day for a whole week. Work it, bake it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole if you're new here and I've lost 100 pounds living a low carb and ketogenic lifestyle. Today I'm gonna show you Monday through Friday what we had for breakfast. Now some days I had more of a brunch because we did fasted workouts and then we did our first meal of the day which is more like of a hellacious brunch versus breakfast and lunch. And then some days we did do a breakfast and then lunch. So I'm gonna show you what we had every single day, talk you through things, and show you a recipe in this video. So if you wanna see what I had all week long, stick around. Monday's breakfast is two runny yolk eggs with a more butter than I probably should have put in there, but we allotted it our macro, so we're good. Two turkey sausages. I like doing the turkey sausage versus the beef um, sausages from like Walmart or whatever because of the fat content, because you see I'm adding fats with these muffins, with butter, with avocados, so I don't need that extra fat. That'll be way over on my macros, and these are delicious. Half an avocado, one net carb for that. These are blueberry lemon macadamia nut muffins. They're new, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna try it with a little bit of butter on top. And then you saw me weigh out some raspberries and some blackberries. In our coffee, we have our unflavored Equip Collagen. I love that more than Perfect Keto because it has more collagen peptides in it and it has zero carbs, so we can eat our carbs versus drinking them. Two tablespoons of the caramel nut pods and a little bit of sprinkle of cinnamon, and that is a community Mardi Gras K-Cup. Yes, indeed, represent Louisiana. Let's start Monday off with a bang. This looks delicious. Well, they may look beautiful, but these are a fail. They're not good at all. They don't have any. They're just super bland and super oily. So, man, that was a pass. Like, I should have added some sweeteners or something to it, and it probably would have been okay. They look great, but just no bueno. You can't win them all. Perfect. breakfast slash brunch is because I did my fasted workout this morning. So on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays, we do a brunch versus a breakfast and lunch. So I've got a two egg omelet with some spinach, 
some shaved Romano Parmesan blend cheese with some Redmond's Real Salt, of course, and some pepper. Half a avocado with some Redmond's Real Salt. These are my banana muffins or my banana bread that I made into muffins, guys. Do that same recipe, but just cook it for 25 minutes if you're doing muffin form. Flipping amazing. That's my saving grace since I had an epic fail with those lemon macadamia blueberry muffins. And then we've got some Faye 5% yogurt. I showed you that I weighed it up on my scale and I've got some blackberries, raspberries, and about 20 grams of almond butter from Sam's Club. And of course, a cherry cola Zevia to get our caffeine fix for lunchtime, brunch time. This is gonna be the only thing I eat until dinner. So this is my breakfast slash brunch for Tuesday. Wednesday's brunch is another one of the banana muffins or banana loaf that I have on my keto recipes playlist, but I made into muffin form. I do have the Faye 5% with some raspberries, blackberries, and about 15 grams of almond butter from Sam's Club. And then we did another two egg omelet with spinach, Romano, but I added two of the turkey sausages by Butterball. I love these all natural ones so much because of the macros are on point. I mentioned in my grocery haul, five and a half grams of fat, 10 protein for two patties, zero carbs and ingredients are pretty clean. But the addition to this that I didn't have the other day or yesterday is I'm gonna have a super coffee. So this is the hazelnut flavor. I've tried the vanilla and the mocha. I love them all. I haven't tried this one. I'm really excited about trying it. And I already had one earlier this morning when breaking my fast after doing my fasted workout. So tomorrow and Friday, you should see actual breakfast and not lunch because I'm not doing fasted workouts. But that is Wednesday's brunch post-workout meal. Thursday's breakfast, I'm gonna be making some broccoli egg cheddar cups. And you can do a variation of this. You can do like spinach and feta. You can do all kinds of different combos. I'm gonna be doing a cup of chopped broccoli. I've got four eggs in there and a half a cup of cheese. I'm gonna just do sharp cheddar because I think that's gonna pair well with the broccoli. And I'm gonna go ahead and chop that up, get this all mixed in the oven, and we're just gonna bake these on 375 for like 15 minutes, just keep checking on them. And I'm gonna add some other stuff, of course, but I wanted to get this going while I got the boys eating breakfast and just have them done when I get done doing my fasted jumping jacks and all that good stuff something quick and easy and portable if you're working, something you can meal prep, really easy breakfast option. Chopped broccoli going in the four eggs. I'm gonna save the rest of my broccoli for another side for dinner this week, so that's not gonna go to waste. Of course, I'm gonna add some Redmond's Real Salt, and I also think I'm gonna add some of this organic garlic pepper. I love this stuff, guys. I always have them linked down below with the discount code, but it makes everything taste oh so good. Their spices, I cannot recommend enough. So just to give you a heads up, it made six and I did three tablespoons, if you will, with this little gadget in each of my six silicone liners. Half a cup of cheese, I'm gonna divide equally on all six muffin tops. Cheese is on, we're gonna bake 375 for about 15 minutes or until the eggs are set. 15 minutes and this is what they look like. I'm gonna let them hang out in this hot pan because they're gonna continue to cook just a little bit more so the centers are fully done, but they smell flipping amazing. I cannot wait to try them and add them with the rest of our goodies for breakfast this morning. So here's Thursday's breakfast. We've got 4.1 ounces of the Faye 5%. We've got about, I think, 12 grams of nut butter. And then I got a little berry wasted. So I've got 50 grams of blackberries and I think 30 grams of raspberries. And then there is the egg muffin with the broccoli and cheddar. Doesn't that look awesome? And in our coffee, you saw we just did a community vanilla K cup. We did one teaspoon of coconut oil. I am obsessed with this Equip collagen, guys. Definitely look down below. I have a discount code. This one is so good because it is 15 grams of collagen, peptides, 100% grass-fed, and it's zero carbs. You can add any of your other filler, and you have a zero-carb or low-carb coffee on your hands. Love that stuff so much, and it will help with your hair, skin, and nails, especially if you're just starting keto, guys. You need to implement collagen into your daily schedule to help with hair loss in the very beginning. And of course, you know, we went in with the vanilla nut pods is life. And then I always sprinkle cinnamon
cinnamon or nutmeg on top of my coffee. Try it, guys. It is amazing. Coffee in one hand, confidence in the other. Let's get to eating this Thursday epic breakfast. Friday's breakfast or brunch because it's 1230. I had a doctor's appointment, so I went ahead and just did an unplanned fast. And we did have a Quest shake with a Starbucks triple shot espresso. Yes, we were living our best life this morning. Why not on a Friday? But this is the first official meal of the day. So I have two fried eggs, two of those turkey sausages I showed y'all earlier in the week, another banana muffin, half an avocado with some Redmond's Real Salt, and then 4.1 ounces of the Faye 5%. 16 grams of almond butter from Sam's Club, 35 grams of blackberries, and 25 grams of raspberries going down today. As far as net carbs for this entire lunch, it is 10 grams and 770 calories. I'm not going to eat again until dinner time, which we are going to have a huge dinner tonight, but no snacking in between. First meal of the day, Friday's brunch. So that is my what's for breakfast slash brunch video. Y'all give it a huge thumbs up if you like these types of videos, the what's for lunches, what's for dinners. If y'all love these, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps the video so much. And if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to have you part of the family. So make sure to hit all the bells and whistles down below so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day, an awesome week, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.